Hi Aries, welcome back to my channel. This is a love reading for you. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus Placement. It's not always going to resonate completely for each and every one of you. So the link to my Etsy shop is down below. At any point you feel like you need for me to tune into just your energy, you can head over there and see what you know resonates with what you're going through. All right, thank you, Spirit. Seductive love. Something very like intriguing, intoxicating, very passionate. Passion, definitely. Passion and seductive. Allow your heart to sing your heart and soul to sing with joy. This connection makes you all around happy. You can't get enough of this person. I love it. All right, Spirit. The energy of my Aries when it comes to love and romance. All right, well, these two just, you're feeling very, um, this the illusion of feeling stuck by something, but you're healing, you're being patient when it comes to a connection. I feel like you are breaking free and moving out of this energy. You want that balance back in your life person showing up in this reading. Thank you, Spirit. The tower. So it's like they want to be rescued. Meeting you is like a tower moment in their life. This person might, you might have met them online or you're watching each other online. You might receive a direct message or, you know, through social media. But it's like they're coming from a tower moment. Something very unexpected. What is the current situation between Aries and this person? Yeah, negative energy. Being in your head about this connection. Mental anguish. Let's see what just popped out. Yeah, there was an ending here. Wow. And what is the overall outcome between Aries and this person? All right, let's see. Two fell on the floor. The Ten of Cups. The storybook ending. Look at this. With these two falling on the floor, I feel like there had to be an ending for the two of you to work on each other, to work on yourself separately so that you can have this brand new beginning that leads to your storybook ending. One of you might have been codependent on the other. There could have been... Um, an addiction. There could have been like a the runner or chaser kind of effect. I feel like you both are going to be very cautious going back towards one another. You know, you might have your wall up, but with the heart on her sweatshirt, you know you're each other's desire, you're each other's wish fulfillment, but you're going to be cautious. Please clarify the eight of swords and temperance. For my Aries energy. Eight of Swords and Temperance.
You're definitely standing your ground. And you've, you seem like you've been through a battle with this person. But clarifying the Eight of Swords and Temperance is definitely a reunion. You got Temperance, you got the Six of Cups. There is going to be a reunion. I really think your person might have lied or didn't want to tell you how they felt. But now it's like truths are going to be revealed. There's going to be clarity. They're taking their mask off and now letting you know what they're feeling and thinking. Please clarify the tower. King of Wands and Hierophant. They're coming in ready for commitment now. They're coming in definitely with a lot of passion for you. It could have been that they just were not ready. We're not ready for this connection. Yeah, exactly. The two of swords and the three of cups. I feel like this person was very charismatic, charismatic, always very, you know, flirtatious, loved to have a good time. And like meeting you, there, there is a connection. You know, there was something real. There was passion. And it's almost like they were scared off by this. They felt like you were their wish fulfillment. And it literally scared the shit out of them. And now they're here in their tower alone. And they're like, what the fuck did I do? Oh, sorry, Aries. I wasn't supposed to say that. Excuse me for saying that word. Why the ten of swords? Two of Wands. See, after this ending, it was so hard on you both. But now their plan is to come together and make it work. Anything else for the overall outcome? Alright. Divine Feminine and the High Priestess. One of you went silent, did healing in silence. I feel like you always knew that this person was your wish fulfillment also, but you stayed silent. Divine Feminine, however that resonates for you guys, you have eyes for this person. You love the way they take care of themselves, the way they glow. The way they radiate happiness. You're very intrigued by them. And this is definitely coming back around. Alright, for my Aries. To bring clarity to this connection. Alright. Marriage. Church. Principles, values. This could be the person that is your end all be all. This is definitely the King of Wands energy. So it might have been a you know a Leo that you might have been dealing with, or they could have had Leo in their chart, but they're coming in very powerful. They're coming in very confident. Developing over time like fine wine. There is an energy of transforming here. So I feel, you know, they're going to take this mask off. They're going to tell you what's been going on with them. I just feel like when the two of you were together, they were more interested in themselves and what they had going on. Like I said, enjoying themselves, having a good time. Initially, you were probably just this, you know, seductive, this passion, this maybe one night stand or, you know, when you're home alone and you come home at three o'clock in the morning with your friends and you hit that person up. It was like that kind of connection. But then 
there was a connection. There was feelings. And I feel like they just took off. But now they see you as the person for their, you know, their end all be all. And there comes the communication. Could be a text, could be an email, could be a direct message. And look at why they couldn't shake it. Because they knew you were like a soulmate connection or a twin flame connection. Something that's like a higher level of feelings than they were used to. But now they're coming in ready. Aries. It's like they only have eyes for you and they couldn't shake it. Now they're in their tower all alone. It's like, no. I want them. I have to get them before they get away. They're making the plan and they're coming in. All right. Have a good week ahead. I will be back for many more readings and stay safe.